What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to Sledders, the game where the only limitation is your imagination. The sledding sandbox has now had a very, very big update for today. The devs at, at uh, Hanky Games have been kind enough to let me get this a day early so I can test it out and create this content for you on release day. So the update is coming on the 29th of March and I'm going into this completely blind. The only thing that I'm aware of change wise is adding in some more hard pack snow. So for roads and stuff around, but I imagine it goes so much deeper than that. So first off, I want to touch on the very, very obvious thing in the room that has changed here. If we go to like changing vehicles, you can see the layout here has completely changed. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot more user friendly. So you can select your main base kind of sled, whichever you want. And then over on the left hand side, we can choose what track length we want. Rather than the entire screen being filled from top to bottom with different sleds, we can now go into one of them, customize them, turn turbos on and off. We've even got a stats page here for power, climbing ability, and agility. Uh, we can add different color bar pads. Uh, if you can see just over here, each bar pad that I click, it does change color ever so slightly. So for the first person players, that'll be a nice big change. Uh, we can also turn to have hand guards off or hand guards completely on. I feel like I might turn them on. I do like me a cheeky handguard. I don't know why. I just think they look really, really nice. We can also change our skis as well at the bottom. So literally completely different types of skis from uh, one to the other. Uh, have I got anything a little bit, a little bit out there? What colors we got? I mean, uh, no, I don't want white. White's going to make making a thumbnail an absolute, absolute nightmare. Let's go for red. I liked red. And then also we have got, where is it? We've got that wraps up here as well. So default, this is how the, uh, the old skidoo comes. And then you can change to a bunch of different colors. And I also imagine I haven't dived into the paints and like skin side of things on this game yet with custom graphics on them. I imagine this is where all of your graphics would then show up for each one. So really, really cool stuff right off the bat there. Uh, I haven't touched on player outfit yet. Is there any extra little uh, player skins in here? They look to be on a similar level as last time I played. But again, I feel like this is something that you can all customize uh, yourselves very easily. Let's go for the white and blue. Uh, in options, I believe we're all looking the same here. I'm going to be using the controller today and I'm actually not even going to be recording like my first 10 minutes of playing because again i've not touched the game in two days so <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit different do we have any extra maps uh we I, is high peaks new i think high peaks might be new for all of you passionate gamers you can now get 20 percent off all g fuel products worldwide by using code lins at checkout and for any of you motorheads looking for some new drip or apparel use code mxpr underscore lins 15 fxrracing.eu to get 15 percent off all links and codes are in the description down below enjoy the video and drop a cheeky little like and subscribe I mean, those indeed are some very, very high peaks, aren't they? That is actually unreal. That's ridiculous. Um, if I load up the map, you can see it hasn't got the full color overlay just yet. So we know that this is still like an early work in process build list. Uh, however, if I zoom right in into this map, can you have see kind of where my little cursor is in the middle of the screen now? How it's got this trail looking through here? I'm pretty sure that this is the hard pack trails that they've done. So I'm actually going to try and find my way to this so i need to pop a 180 where i am right now also update wise which i think is very very cool is let me spin around is on the, well on my controller for me it's square on playstation i don't know what it is on xbox you can now have a toggle between standing up and sitting down and which it does indeed in like affect how how you turn so very very cool little change there as well let me find my way over to this trail then and also just want to say like I think this the sled design here looks so, so cool. Like, it's got to be my favourite one so far, especially just being able to customise all the way down to the skis too. I absolutely love it. Oh, and literally, oh, so it does have different physics as well. Okay. No, I Honestly, the amount of people that said they need to have some more hard pack uh, snow trails around here, it was unreal. So many people asked for this. So now I need to work on actually learning how to turn on it as well because it's quite slick. It is very slick indeed. Um, however, the uh, dev that I'm liaising with, let's say, to be able to bring this early access to you, has said that the like the hard hard pack trails are very very early. So in terms of physics and traction, etc., they will more than likely be seeing quite a few updates in the near future. But the fact that they've done it and they're branching out, big old W. So because for someone like me, who's not necessarily incredible at this game, I think we can all agree I'm I'm pretty damn newbie. Trying to maneuver my way. If I wanted to get over this hill and get on the other side of the map, this would be an absolute nightmare for me. So now that I've got a way to ride all the way around the outside of it, that makes me a very, very happy man. See, all it feels like to me right now is you kind of almost have to 
drift your way around the corner and just steer with the back end because the skis like they slide across the the top of it low so i mean they've got not really got anything to dig into so it's all done with your uh, your tread at the back it's just light up the uh, like light, light up the back get on the get on the gas and she spins around quite nicely i imagine that you could probably have some quite fun races with your friends around the hard trails i know that might seem a bit boring to some people but that's the first thing that stuck into my head and me obviously coming from a uh, like a racing background on the motocross side of things I always have racing in my brain and ways that we can try and compete with each other. So yeah, having actual racetracks I think would be a massive W. And even just a way of uh, tracking timing for each other a bit easier than external mods would be so, so, so much fun. But I'm I'm a big fan of this already. Oh, hang on. Can we get up? Oh, we can get up again. Love that. Can we also take a sec? Just appreciate how beautiful this game looks, by the way. Just If you just want to sit down and just chill out and ride something for a few hours, it looks so, so nice. I'm going to be spoiled for choice when it comes to taking screenshots. I really, really am. And it, it does feel like the overall stability of the sleds as well has, has improved. Like, I don't feel like I'm just flopping around side to side anywhere near as much as I used to. And especially since I've had a, a two-month break from playing the game, I can promise you that I've not improved in skill in any way. It's purely, I think they've just made them a m much more stable. Uh, in some of the very early footage that they released themselves, it looked like you was able to just kind of swerve side to side and slide on your way up hills a lot easier now than you used to be able to as well. And I can definitely feel that effect. Like right now, this is so much easier getting up here, which is it might make some of the previous very, very challenging hill climbs a lot easier to do. But then I think it just opens up the door to then do even more difficult climbs, if that makes sense. I mean, look how easily we're getting our way up here. I don't know what the look back button is on this game, but look how easy we're getting all the way up to the top of this. And uh, I mean, it's not lying. The map is literally called High Peaks. I mean, look at look at that. This, I'm sorry, this is actually really, really beautiful. I'm very jealous. I will say, I've since I've started playing this game, I've kind of wandered into the world of uh, sledding on YouTube as well and just watching people's GoPros footage, and it looks so much fun. That's unreal. I kind of want to get... Wait, I want to get... I want to get there. I want to try and get to the top right. That looks nuts. Whilst on my way over here as well, it has become very, very apparent that uh, I still have Lynn Syndrome. If you're unaware of what Lynn Syndrome is, it's basically any tree that you look at, you will hit, regardless on how you how you step. So yeah, make sure that you don't develop a severe case of that, because it is highly contagious. And let's see how we go about getting our way up here then. So I see our little low spot, we're going to swerve a bit more up here. And I'm just kind of leaning forwards now the entire time, leaning forwards, and I'm not even doing much on the rider inputs in terms of side to side this is all in the the sled itself just all on the left stick and it seems yes yeah, so much more straightforward i can see this being a like a love hate thing for some people some people are going to hate that it's become a lot easier obviously for bigger big newbies like me that is a, a big old double it just makes everything so much more accessible for me and if i pause right here i don't think this is a bad place to stop uh, we can see so I started all over here. I've done my little riding all the way around these trails. I apologize, as you can see my cursor on screen as well. And then I kind of cut off about here. And we've ridden up, ridden up to the side here. And now, I mean, I guess there's even higher points off, off to the, the left. That is beautiful down there. Oh, maybe maybe this was a terrible decision to stop where I stopped. Let's try and drag it, turn up to the left again. Come on, buddy. There we go. Go on, get the, get the skis digged in. Nice. And then we'll go all the way up to this way. I want, I want to know what the very, very highest tippity toppity point is. No, 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 please, 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 please. Okay, just reset me there. I'm still facing the right way. Yes. Love that. Oh, so there's even higher. Oh, my goodness. Can I... I'm going to be really risky here. I'm going to pop a, U, pop a UE. Because look at how beautiful that is. That is nuts. Right, let's go back. I want to try and get to the very highest point. Uh, I know that the trees aren't here right now, but I'm just in the, like, external replay camera mod. Look at the scale of this map that is absolutely nuts it's actually quite impressive now you sit here and look at it like this as well without any of the trees dotted around uh, i know somewhere over in the distance on the left over here there is what appears to be a little bit of a lake which i was just trying to find but i can't right now so we'll, we'll adventure over over to there a little bit later for now we are trying to get all the way up to the very very top up there I feel like I've spotted my line. I want to go to the left-hand side. Then we're going to steer off to the right slightly. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it in, 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 keep it in. Forwards, 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 forwards. Oh, no, that's going to kill my momentum. No, please. Oh, no, that jump killed me. Right, turn around, take number two. Oh, God, I need to try and avoid that bump. How do I avoid that bump is the question. So I can see it right there. So I need to come slightly further to the right. Here it is. Right, miss that bump out. Try and push forwards. There you go. Keep the, keep the momentum. Go, 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 go. Missed that bump as well. Over to the right. 
All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Don't lose it. Keep leaning forwards. Keep leaning forwards. A little bit of a little bit of a slalom. No, don't, don't, don't. That looked very, very soft. Oh, shut off for a nanosecond. That could have been my mistake. No, go on, go on, go on. Surely, no, get up here, get up here. Get up, 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 Oh, and now you can't even spit, like, set too many spawn points now if you can't reset too many on top of each other. So I don't think that ever used to be an issue. I think you used to be able to spit, set spawns as close as you like. So there you go. We've got up uh, We've got up very, very high here. I'm pretty sure this is the highest point of the entire... Oh! Never mind, it's not. There's another bit just over here. So if you are someone that particularly likes climbing your hills, then this could very well be the map for you. So high peaks, a big old W. I really want to just try and find my way over now. There it is. You see it over in the distance over there. I want to try and get my way over there. What's the what's the best route? Is there a trail going over there? No, I think I'm going to have to try and follow the hard pack trail all the way down and around the side. And then I have to probably go around through the back end, maybe? I'm not even joking when I tell you that drifting my way around these hard pack trails and trying to go as fast as I can in these tight little spaces is actually some of the most fun I've been having so far. You can tell there's different kinds of people, can't you? There's some that like just taking their time, like sliding them in their way up the hills, and then there's them weirdos like me who just want to go as fast as possible everywhere. But I now I love that there is now the ability to do so. This is really, really cool and very impressive. I mean, I need to give a shout out to the devs. They haven't just uh, kind of rested on their laurels and just released the games it was and that's it. It looks like they're constantly working to bring updates, which is only going to increase the, uh, or prolong the lifespan of the game, which is a big old W. And again, I think at the moment, in terms of games that you can you ride a sled on, I think it's got to be the, the top one by a long shot. So starting at spawn here, working my way all the way around, all of this trail, all the way around the outside of the mountain in the middle, all the way to this point here, that's about a solid 10 minutes, I would say, worth of just unbroken single trail you to go and discover obviously if you're a lot better than i am which most of you probably are uh, then you can do it in a lot of a quicker time but really really good just really fun something a lot different and now i'm going to try my very best to work my way over here to the lake and see what that has to offer do you see what i see i think i found my lake there it is she's a she's a big old girl as well uh, i literally i've climbed all the way up to the top of this mountain as well and i'm up at the uh, the world limit now i'm right up at the border so yeah, these maps are just, they're disgustingly big. They take so long to traverse. And uh, obviously be well aware that within this video, there's going to be so much that I'd probably miss. But I suppose that is the fun of the maps really, is that you guys explore stuff on your own as well. No chance I was ever going to survive that. Let's fall all the way down. Oh, spawned the wrong way. I'm trying so hard right now not to fall victim <laughs> to the Lynn's disease and hitting all these trees. Oh, I would pick like the narrowest gap to try and go through. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's so many. I'm trying to avoid... I'm so terrible at small, turning in like a small radius as well and getting that right. Uh, big, big bits, absolutely fine. Like hills, not too terrible. But yeah, trying to manoeuvre my way in amongst all these trees is an absolute nightmare for someone of, uh, of my skill level. You could probably make some very, very cinematic looking shots with a drone camera in this game as well. It just looks so nice, doesn't it? So pretty. But then you also have to have the riding skill to accompany that, which I really, really do not. There you go, as I crest this hill, we should see her. There she is. Right, let's actually go down this way, all the way down to the water's edge. I'll probably try and do a little bit of a hydroplane. It's, I, it, I imagine it won't go well. I cannot see myself getting the entirety of the way across. But look, oh, this is a, I think this is the biggest lake in the game, surely. Like, it's huge. Look at that. That's absolutely massive. Oh, my goodness. I mean, screenshot. Right, so I'm going to turn around. And we're going to try and get a little bit of pace about us. Lin's disease. We're going to get a little bit of pace about us, and we're just going to try and hit it as hard as we can. We're going to pop a Yui here. I'm also going to load up my map, set a marker, lovely stuff, and now, here we go. How far do we get before we just drown? Oh my god. Oh my god. No chance. No shot we make it all the way across. Surely not. Nice little underwater POV. It's going down. We're going down. We're sinking. Slowly. No, we're still there. We're still there. We're still there. We'll come back. Come back. Oh, go on. All the way. Oh, light work. Light work. Light work. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, that was actually quite cool. Um, I really enjoyed that. Oh, God. Right, boys. That's it on high peaks. 
let me just have a quick look through some of the other maps to see if they've added any trails in through there as well. Right, I think there might be a slight little bug on the testing build that I've been given because I can't really see where anything is. So it's going to be very, very difficult for me to uh, try and find anything new that is dotted around. Uh, what I can do... Oh, hang on, what's, be what's behind me, rather? Hello? What's all this, then? Hang on a second, this... That looks new. I mean, what a place to spawn just next to some <laughs> random logs dotted around. Uh, the track's around here somewhere. I can't remember exactly where... Oh, found it. Never mind. So, uh, doesn't look like too many changes on the track side of things. Let me just do a quick lap. Let's just do a quick little spin just to just to make sure. Just to double check, you know. Although, actually, no, there has. There's not all of the usual fences that are dotted around everywhere. This is different. Okay, and remember as well, obviously, the, the build I'm on, it could be very, very different to what you guys end up playing, well, today when you're watching this. Uh, there could be some different updates in there, so I could even have a premature bit of the game in some sections, and you guys could have to get new in others. But we did a little bit of discovering on the uh, on the High Peaks map. We found uh, hard, hard pack trails, that is the word I'm looking for, and hell of a, hell of a good time, hell of a lot of fun. Lots of hill climbing to be done, lots of uh, hard pack trail riding to be done, and even right now... The sled feels a lot more... It just feels more stable. Like, a lot more stable. Although, I think I've been sat down this entire time, which would 100% explain that. But now to have that option between the two is really, really enjoyable. So, again, shout out to the uh, the devs. They always... Uh, it seems like they put in a hell of a lot of work for all this stuff to bring us something something new every couple of months. And, uh, I mean, keep your eyes out. Feel free to, to give it a go. They have asked if I wanted to do another giveaway at some point. I couldn't for this video because I've just been rushed for time. I'm literally, after I finish editing and uploading this, I'm going away for like five days, so I didn't have the time to sit down and be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, next time we come back to this, should be able to give away uh, one or two more copies of Sledders again. So again, shout out to the devs for letting me play this even a one day early for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a cheeky little like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And go and find all the things that I couldn't find, because I'm sure there is so, so much to be found on these maps. Uh, have a lovely rest of the day. What you're up to? Catch you guys next time. Peace. I'm working hard. I'm sacrificing my life. I'm sacrificing my mind. I'm sacrificing my sanity. But most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine. I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain. Even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want.